subscribe now and press the bell icon. Never miss an update. Hi guys, welcome to the channel devdbqa.com. So guys, if you are new here, then please subscribe and press the bell icon to get videos on manual testing, automation testing and videos on other programming languages. So guys, in today's video, we are going to learn about system testing overview. In system testing overview, we will see what is system testing. Then we will see the acceptance testing overview. And at last, we will see system testing versus acceptance testing. So guys, let's start with our today's video. System testing. System testing is the testing of the whole system. So system testing includes testing of a fully integrated software system. Generally, a computer system is made with the integration of software. So guys, a system is made with the integration of different types of small softwares. So in a system or a computer system, there are different type of small modules or different type of small softwares. On combination of them then a complete system software is made up and in system testing we test the fully integrated software system. The software is developed in units and then interfaced with other software and hardware to create a complete computer system. So guys the software is developed in small small units or a small modules then the software is interfaced or connected with the hardware to create a complete computer system so then only we can get a complete computer system by integrating software with hardware in other words a computer system consists of a group of software to perform their various tasks but only softwares cannot perform tasks for that software must be interfaced with a compatible hardware so guys only a software cannot perform the desired task so the software needs a compatible hardware to perform the task. System testing is a series of different types of tests with the purpose to exercise and examine the full working of an integrated software computer against the requirements. So guys system testing is testing of a complete system against the requirements of the client. So the client requirements are kept in view and then the testing is done to test the complete computer computer system acceptance testing so guys acceptance testing is a formal testing based on client user requirements and function processing so acceptance testing is a formal testing which is based on the client requirements so the client's requirements are kept in view and the testing is done to check whether the client's requirements are met or not met it determines whether the software is conforming specified requirements and user requirements or not. So in the acceptance testing test whether the software which is made by the dev team and then the testing is done by the testing team. So the software is conforming to the client requirements or not. So we will verify that the software should be conforming to the specified requirements by the client. It is conducted as a kind of black box testing where the number of required users involved to test the acceptance level of the system. So guys acceptance testing is a kind of black box testing where the number of required users. So the end users that are required uh, to test the acceptance level of the system are performed on the system and we will check that the system is according to the client requirements or not. The system is behaving perfectly or not as per the client requirement. So guys next is acceptance testing is the fourth and last level of software testing. However the software has passed through three testing levels that is unit, unit testing, integration testing, system testing but still there are some minor errors which can be identified when the system is used by the end user in the actual scenario. So guys when the acceptance testing comes in the picture the software has passed through three testing levels that are unit testing, integration testing and system testing. 
but there are some still some minor defects or errors that can only be identified when the testing is done by the end user in the actual scenario in which the software is going to be used by the client so therefore the acceptance testing is the fourth level of testing which is performed now we will see the differences between system testing and acceptance testing System testing is performed to test end-to-end -end functionality of a software. So the point number one is that the system testing is performed to test the end-to-end -end functionality of a software. Whereas the acceptance testing is performed to test whether the software is conforming specified requirements and the user requirements or not. So in acceptance testing we test that the software is according to the client requirements or not. The second point for system testing is only developers and testers can perform system testing whereas acceptance testing can be performed by testers, stakeholders and customers as well. Now the third point is it can be both non-functional and functional testing. So the system testing can be non-functional as well as functional testing. So in acceptance testing it can only be functional testing so guys acceptance testing can only be functional testing whereas the system testing can be both non-functional testing as well as functional testing so now the point number four of system testing in system testing we test the performance of the whole system whereas in acceptance testing is we test whether the system is conforming to the requirements of the client or not so the acceptance testing is checking whether the system is as per the client requirements or not and the, in the system testing we check that the system performance is complete or not. The point number fifth is system testing uses demo input values that are selected by the testing team. So in system testing we use the demo input values that are selected by the testing team whereas in acceptance testing the real-time input values are provided by the users and then the software is tested on the real-time input values. So the next is point number six. In system testing, we include the testing of complete specification including software and hardware, memory and number of users. So in system testing, we check everything related to the software, the hardware, the memory and the number of users of the system. Whereas in acceptance testing, we test whether the software is fulfilling all the need of the user or not. So now guys, we move to the next point that is seven point system testing is a combination of system testing and integration testing. So guys, system testing is combination of system testing and integration testing. So integration testing is also tested in the system testing. Whereas in acceptance testing is a combination of alpha testing and beta testing. So guys, in acceptance testing, there are two testings that are alpha testing and beta testing. So guys, now we move to the next point that is eighth point. For system testing, it is performed before the acceptance testing. So system testing is performed before the acceptance testing and the acceptance testing is performed after the system testing. So now for the ninth point, system testing involves load testing and stress testing under non-functional testing. Whereas the acceptance testing involves boundary value analysis, equivalence partitioning and decision table under the functional testing. Now the tenth point, the defect found in system testing are considered to be fixed whereas the defect found in the acceptance testing are considered as the product failure. So guys, the defects that are found in the system testing can be fixed by the developers and then again tested and then can be delivered to the client. Whereas if some defects are found in the acceptance testing, then it is considered as a product failure. Because for acceptance testing, the software testing has passed through three different levels that is unit testing, integration testing and system testing then only acceptance testing is performed so guys thank you for watching my video if you like my video then please press the like button and if you are new to this channel then please subscribe and press the bell icon to get regular updates and if you have any suggestions then please comment in the comment section thanks guys for watching my video thank you